Sometimes in life you will cross paths with something that makes you feel all emotional. And today is that day. The brand new Mizuno MP20 MB irons. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to my channel. If you are new here and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, please make sure you don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button before you leave. That way you won't miss any of the great golf related content that I bring to you guys every single day. In today's video, you're in for a treat. In today's video, I have the brand new Mizuno MP20 MB irons. And before we even start, I must say, Mm. Yes. Now obviously the first place to start with these irons is the looks. Let's not pull any punches, I'm going to say these things are potentially the best looking golf club, the best looking iron, potentially the best looking item I've ever seen. I mean, the MP18 was beautiful, wasn't it? And when that came out, we were all kind of jaw dropped as to just how beautiful it looked. But Mizuno have actually raised the game from there with these MP20s. Today, I've got the pitching wedge, the eight iron, the six iron, and the four iron. I'm gonna to talk to you about, uh, not necessarily tech, but I'm gonna to talk to you about these clubs. I'm gonna tell you how they feel. I'm gonna show you how they perform. And we're starting with the pitching wedge. So soft, so soft. Just a real quick side note for you guys, I'm also testing today the MCC irons and the MP20 HMB irons. So if you do want to see a review of that, those will be on the channel as well. And I will even do a huge comparison for you comparing all these brand new Mizuno MP20 range. So you could potentially work out which one's for you. But I've got to say the first, first huge thing that I think a lot of people will do is mix these sets up. But anyway, back to the MBs. This pitching wedge looks absolutely everything you would want in a pitching wedge. It looks phenomenal. And feels just as good. But you see, the fact that these irons look amazing and feel amazing really isn't that much of a surprise to me. So let's take a look at exactly what goes into these irons, how they're made, what they're made of, and exactly what Mizuno are saying about them. So, the clubs are made out of a grain flow forged 1025E milled carbon that is plated in a soft copper and a nickel chrome. We've all seen the pictures circulating around on Instagram and Twitter, haven't we, where we all thought these irons were going to be released in that copper finish. Slightly disappointed it's not going to be, but they do look absolutely stunning nevertheless. But you see, that's no new idea. That has been taken from Mizuno's really old TN87 blade. Believe it or not, these things aren't just butter knives. They aren't just designed to be absolute pure blades. Well, they are, but Mizuno are saying that there is a little bit of forgiveness in there due to that discreetly tapered top blade that is designed to spread weight and spread forgiveness for strikes that are high or low on that face. However, I don't think you're gonna see that much forgiveness in all fairness, not in relation to maybe other irons in the MP20 range. Now, one thing which all you Eagle Eye Mizuno fans will notice is just how small this club head looks. And part of that look is down to the new thinner top line. This is now the thinnest top line that Mizuno have made in generations. And to some people, it might be a little bit scary, but to me, it looks beautiful. Not from this angle, but more like from there. You see, for me, that thin top line just screams out blade. It screams out tradition. And that's what these irons are all about. These irons are about tradition. They're not about an eight iron going 180, 190. In some cases in 2019, 200 yards. They're about tradition. This eight iron, I will tell you now, will go around 155 yards, maybe 160 if I step on it. And if I miss it, it'll go about 140. But I'm fine with that. I'm at peace with that. That's what these irons are about. They're about that feedback. Back. What did we say about if I missed it? That was really toey. 144 yards. So this is probably a good point to say that these irons, although they look fantastic, they look beautiful, they look absolutely gorgeous, 
They're not gonna be for everybody. You need to be able to know that you're gonna hit the middle of that club face as consistently as possible, or you're gonna see distance drop-offs, you're gonna see dispersion drop-offs, you're gonna see missed greens, potentially you could see higher scores. But again, that's where the other irons in the range come in, isn't it? The MCC and the HMB. Come on, let's get a good eight time. There we go. Beautiful. And this is exactly why people will use this clubs. This is exactly why people hit them. Because I've just hit an A time there and it felt, to be honest, it felt like something that I would very much struggle to describe on a video. I think everyone should hit these clubs at least once. At least once in their life, everyone should hit a set of Mizuno blades. No matter what your handicap is, no matter what your ability level is, everyone should at least have a go. Okay, moving up through the set, let's go to six iron now. And this again is an iron that I would have in the bag. I don't think I particularly have five and four iron. I think I'd probably go MCC or HMB because that's what they're there for. But the six iron I'd be comfortable with. Love the look of it. Love the look of the thinner top line down at the ball. Blade length doesn't actually look that short. Thinking particularly tailor-made P730, the blade length actually looks quite generous. So it gives me a little bit of confidence. I also love that satin mirrored finish, which in the right light just gleams absolutely beautifully. But then we also have that duller satin face where the grooves are, so you don't get the glare in the sunshine. Not that we get much sunshine here in the UK, but hammering it down out there now. Six iron, we're on a par three at 185 yards. Oh, it's Miss Rad, 186. I there's no water hazard over there. That was toey. Really start to lose that distance when you don't get it out of the middle. You, oh, that's never moved. And you see, having spoken to the guys at Mizuno, I know that working closely with the tour players on the looks of these irons, on the feel of these irons, on the design of these irons, is something they are very, very proud of. Not necessarily contracted tour players either. Even some tour players which aren't contracted to Mizuno have contributed to the look and style of these irons. One more six iron, and we're gonna go four iron. Yes, please. MP20, MB, 4 iron. Now this is where I guess Mizuno aren't expecting to sell a lot of these. I definitely think that Mizuno are potentially thinking that when people do go for fittings, you're gonna see people go MB, maybe up to six iron, seven iron, maybe even five iron, but I can't see a lot of people moving into the four iron or the three iron. Saying that, when we tested the Titleist MB, we hit the four iron pretty well. No pressure. Oh, he's here again. Mr. Four iron. Oh. Okay, so that's one four iron hit, and I think we'll just kind of stick at that, really, because you don't need to see any more, do you? No? Surely you don't need to see any more four irons than that, do you? Nice big high draw, 207, spinning at three and a half. Oh, that wasn't good. Ah, all right. See, I knew we'd ruin it. Now let's hit a couple more four irons, then we'll take a look at the numbers for these clubs. To be honest, I think I could pretty much tell you the numbers without even looking at them because they are going to be exactly what I expect from a bladed set of irons. Let's quit while we're ahead, shall we? So we've hit a bunch of shots with the pitching wedge, eight iron, six iron and four iron of the Mizuno MP20 MB irons. And I've got to say, really, really, really enjoyed that could definitely see potentially maybe the lower end of these clubs in my bag, not too sure about the higher irons. But one thing that I would say is with these irons being so traditionally lofted, with them being so traditionally built, I'm not expecting to see these go a million miles. The seven iron loft in this set is 34 degrees and I will run all the lofts alongside the bottom of the screen. Now, I'm not expecting these to go a million miles, but I must say if you are in the market for a set of blades, the numbers almost aren't gonna matter to me, but we are gonna talk through them now but these things feel, look, and sound great. As always, let's start off looking at dispersion. We'll start four iron, because why not? 
Not too bad. I'm trying to play kind of a bit of a high fade at the moment in my game. So that last one was actually a bit of a pull, but the, the other three I'm quite happy with. What about the six iron? You can see I'm trying to work in that kind of high fade. One of them, which was quite toey, hasn't got to its peak height very well at all. Eight iron, uh, probably could be better, couldn't it? And pitching wedge, three nice ones and one big pull. But what about the numbers? So four iron on average, 203. Six iron on average, 184. Eight iron on average, 157. And a pitching wedge on average, 139. So all quite humbling numbers, but numbers that I would expect for these clubs. What about the spin rates? Four, four iron spinning at three and a half. Six iron spinning at four and a half, which is quite low, but I am spinning it quite low at the moment. Eight iron at six and pitching wedge at seven and a half. So as you can see there, numbers and distances all pretty much to be expected. Now these things, obviously look amazing we've said that we've covered that the feel amazing the sound amazing the one thing i would stress with them is if you are going to get a set of blades i'm not just saying mp20 mbs but any blades go get fitted go try them out maybe think of a split set that's definitely what i would be doing or i'm thinking of doing who knows but i do definitely have to say that these feel as soft as anything i've ever hit they feel as good as anything i've ever hit and potentially they could be wandering into my bag. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that review on the brand new Mizuno MP20 MB irons. If you are new here and you haven't already, please make sure you go do and hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of the fantastic golf related content that I bring to you guys every single day. Make sure you don't miss my review of the MCC and the HMB irons in the brand new MP20 range. And apart from that guys, as always, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.